Folks, these people are psycho. That's what they are. Uh, sometimes I think they want Obama to get shot. I do. I really think that there are conservative broadcasters in this country who would love to see Obama taken out. I'm just old enough, I was a kid, to remember the walk-up uh, in, in 1963 to the horrible events in Dallas. Even as a kid, I happened to be growing up in Washington, D.C., it was palpable to me all this hate talk about Kennedy. There were a lot of threats. There was a lot of stuff going on that in tone resembles this. All of this is a diversion uh, by the people who want to, frankly, hurt President Obama. And by the way, I saw some of the clips of people storming these town hall meetings. The last time I saw well-dressed people doing this was when Al Gore asked me to go down to Florida when they were recounting the ballots, and I was confronted with the same type of people. They were there screaming and yelling, go back to California, get out of here, and all the rest of it. A man at a pro-health care reform rally just outside wore a semi-automatic assault rifle on his shoulder and a pistol on his hip. The Associated Press Press reports about a dozen people in all at that event were visible carrying firearms. And the reason we're talking about this, a lot of talk here, Dylan, because people feel like, yes, there are Second Amendment rights for sure, but also there are questions about whether this has a racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color in the presidency and white people showing up with guns strapped right. to their waists. I don't even know how to respond to that. This man is our president. I can disagree with him vehemently. Who, who in their right mind thinks that it is a good, except lunatics? Who? Is it reasonable to ask the question, just based on these clips, do they think that a good portion of the American people believe that? That the good portion of the American people are the enemy? That they are in such danger from a good portion of the American people that we need a civilian national security force as well funded and as well trained as the military? You know, the people who are on the other side of the argument, the part that you fail to understand is they believe in the Constitution. But nowhere in the Constitution is that kind of insanity uh, embraced. Is that, Mr. President, you must answer this question. Is that who you think the enemy is? I hope to God not. I hope that it's just the media that once again has it so completely upside down because these people live on Park Avenue and haven't met an actual person in I don't know how long. So who is the real enemy? Well, there's a few stories that I have to tell you about, and it's amazing. This book I wrote, and I started writing this in December. It has been number one for the last 10 weeks, the best-selling book of any category for the last 10 weeks in America. One of the last chapters is The Enemy Within. I wrote it months ago. It doesn't take a genius to figure out who the enemies really are. Let me give you this quote. It is not just uh, the political class who has mastered the art of deception. There are other potentially deadly masters who will seek to exploit your frustration and your sense of desperation. Many will warn you of government tyranny. They'll talk of secret societies, vast conspiracies, shadow governments, and the need for violent action. I urge you to stay away from these individuals and these ideas. All this week, I have showed you the radicals in this administration. There is no, uh, I don't have to call them czars, I can call them revolutionaries and radicals. But now let me show you an even greater danger. The radicals outside of the political system.
who want nothing more and nothing less than the destruction of both political parties. They want nothing more and nothing less than anarchy. These are not people who believe in the Constitution. Foolishly, people are ignoring, or they can't see it, or at worst, with I think the media and the political class, they are using these people. First, I can't even show it to you on TV anymore, there was the Joker poster creator. The right tried to take advantage of this and added the word socialist under it, but that wasn't the truth. The creator of the poster was a Kucinich supporter who doesn't like Obama because he's not left enough. The last clip on MSNBC, the racist white person, according to MSNBC, that brought a rifle to the Obama town hall. Show the pictures, please. Let's show you what they showed. They, they cropped it so nicely. There it is. We just saw this. Oh, my goodness. Pull up. He's an African-American. He wasn't even white. And then there was this story. In Denver, Maurice Joseph Swankler, you hear about this yesterday? Also, with an at-large accomplice, smashed the windows at the Democratic Party headquarters in Denver. First, the Democrats, it's the enemies on the other side. Both parties accused Swankler of supporting the other. And then I heard last night, I demand an answer. You know who this guy is? Think. He's a transgendered anarchist who belongs to the radical anarchist protest group Denver Bash Back. While the radicals in the White House may not be connected to the radicals just mentioned, they are connected by the fact that they are radicals. Remember, Obama's advisor, Czar Jones, created Storm, who believes, quote, revolutionaries need to be militant in street actions. As leaders in the fight for the liberation, we should be role models of fearlessness, fearlessness before the state and the oppressor. These are the sort of tactics some of Obama's czars know best. So when we've got a president creating a national civilian security force as strong as the military, a president who wants a fundamental transformation in America, many of the people surrounding our president believe that America has been the oppressor on this planet. Then we have far left radicals in the White House, and Jones is not alone, who describes his own job as this. Actually... My job is not so dissimilar than my job was before. What I do, kind of to make it simple, I'm basically a community organizer inside the federal family. And a media setting you up. What else are we supposed to say? More in a second. The makings of a civilian national security force. Next.